The recent announcement on how Singapore will exit the circuit breaker come June 1st have left many with questions on what we can or cannot do and what is allowed or not allowed subsequently. The Straits Times Irregular asked as the column gathered these questions that people have asked and we have journalists Yuan Xin to answer some of these burning questions. For a start, Yuan Xin, when you looked through the questions that uh, were sent to the us as the column, what were the issues that people were most concerned about? Yeah, so I think we got many questions from readers right, who were anxious to know how life would change for them after the circuit breaker. So among them, we had questions such as, you know, whether bubble tea shops will open, whether they need to go back to the office, uh, whether the cleaner or the aircon man can go into the houses, whether they can meet their friends and so on. So a bunch of questions about all different you know, aspects of life. Let's try to answer a few of the most pressing questions. Post-circuit breaker, can I start renovations on my new home, for example? Mm. Yeah, actually, that's a quite a tricky question because um, renovation work, uh, even home renovation work, is considered part of construction work. And as we know, the, the transmission of the virus in the construction sector has been uh, very high over the past few months, right? Mm. So actually, all construction work will need to get approval from the Building and Construction Authority because before they can restart work. And in order to get approval, it also depends on many factors such as whether your workers have been tested for COVID and so on. And I think for a start, they will want to prioritize works that have um, been suspended. So they were already ongoing before the circuit breaker, right? And then they had to be stopped because of the circuit breaker. And I think subsequently, they may look at new renovation works, but that might, I think, take a longer, uh, take, take, take a while longer than um, the suspended works. Right. Now on to the next one. Very important questions because, you know, <laughs> two months in already, will I be able to get a facial, thread my eyebrows or go for a manicure from June 2nd? Yeah, definitely. That's something that we all want to know, right? But unfortunately, I think uh, we all have to wait a bit longer before we can go for such beauty services. Uh, they will not be able to resume after June 2nd. So beauty salons may continue to sell products online and deliver them to customers. Uh, but the good news is that at least you can go to the hairdresser and you can get the full range of hairdressing services such as colouring and perming. Well, another burning question the public has asked. Can I visit public gyms, sports and recreational uh, facilities after June the 1st? Yeah, I think for that, um, Sports SG has yet to issue an advisory on what will happen after the June uh, June 2nd. Uh, but I think for now, we know that private gyms will be closed and swimming pools will remain closed. And in HDB estates, right, uh, barbecue pits, badminton courts, playgrounds, all this will not be reopening. And I think it is very likely that we will only be able to see such sports and recreational facilities reopen in phase two which could take at least four weeks from June 2nd. How about facilities in uh, private estate, Yuan Xin? Yeah, so I think uh, facilities in private estates such as pools or tennis courts, this would likely not be able to reopen so soon as well. I think we'll all have to wait until um, the second phase. Right, well, thank you so much to Yuan Xin for clarifying some of the things we can and cannot do from June the 2nd when Singapore exits the circuit breaker and enters the first phase of reopening its economy. Mm, a more detailed list is in the description below if you're watching us on YouTube. If you have any other questions, send them to us at sph.com.sg.